Hi, I'm Sean Williams with Realty Executives Hedges Real Estate, and today we're in the heart of National Historic Register Old West Lawrence, and we're going to look at 742 Indiana, which is a contributing structure to this historic place. As we go through each house, we'll look at 10 elements. We'll look at the foundation, the roof, mechanical electrical plumbing, then we go windows, doors, ceilings and floors, the rest is just decor. We've come into the basement of 742 Indiana to show you the structural integrity of the foundation. Here you can see the brickwork, the evenness of the tuck pointing, the solid concrete, and even the concrete floor, which doesn't have any cracks in it. Another thing to look at in the basement while you have everything open, this is where the knob and tube wiring existed and where it's been replaced with a new junction box and new wiring. You can also see the dimensional lumber and the cross planks for the subflooring, which are one by six boards, tongue and groove. That makes for a very solid floor. We can see lots of things in the furnace room. This is a York Diamond 80% efficient furnace with an April Air humidifier and ductwork that has removed all of the asbestos wrap and insulation. Adding to the natural light in this room, the cellars over time have removed the partition walls, so from east to west it's wide open, spacious space. They've retained the historical elements, the picture frame molding, the uh, segmented ceiling, and there's even places where they think they had a candelabra that would go up, twist in, and hang suspended in the dining room. The front parlor is still a very comfortable sitting room. It still retains the historical integrity of the house, and they've added to the masonry fireplace a new contemporary gas automatic remote controlled fireplace that adds ambience and heat. The kitchen is anything but historic. It's got new cabinets, new lighting, granite countertops, stainless steel sink big enough to put a turkey in, a family sized stainless steel refrigerator, a quiet dishwasher, gas stove, wood floors, and it's open to a breakfast room, dining room, living room, and front door. The master bedroom is adjacent to two other bedrooms. It's well lit with a southern window, and it's right next to the sleeping porch on the east side, which has light from windows on three sides. Sleeping porches were invented around the turn of the century to contribute to a hearty lifestyle. People would sleep out here in the winter, summer, spring, and fall. The windows can be opened up to allow breeze to come through the house, and the light is terrific. 742 Indiana is on the National Historic Register as a contributing home to Old West Lawrence neighborhood. But it has a lot of contemporary upgrades and really nice interior design. Call me, Sean Williams, at Hedges Real Estate, Realty Executives in Lawrence, Kansas.